Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, this is for March 31st until April 6th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Virgo. Okay, Virgo, there is like a fire sign that you're thinking about right now has been giving you a lot of difficulties. You're going through the storm and it's like this person is being too inconsiderate about your feelings or how you really feel. It used to be okay at the beginning and you used to be doing okay in your relationship and in your life. But then right now, you know, things are starting to become even much more complicated. And, you know, it's like this person is controlling you too much to the extent that you're already losing your own personality. Now, you know, sometimes they're okay, sometimes they're not good. Sometimes they're too giving, sometimes they are too selfish. And I feel like you are... Or you will be hmm. you will be discovering that this person has been hiding a lot of things from you which is you know the th those things that you already have you know some inclinations or you already have that instinct or you know um, it's already in your intuition okay that this person has been doing something right behind you and this week you will be discovering a lot more things which is it will become even more obvious and be very careful in confronting because i feel like you're just gonna you know let your emotions burst out and you're always going to be saying a lot of th things that you will just regret later on but you know don't blame yourself for this because I feel like this person just deserved whatever they are going to be hearing from you. Right after putting you through with a lot of stuff in the past. And um, it's like you will be very hurt with the realization that <clears throat> right after all this months and years or weeks of being together. <clears throat> they're just trying to string you along. And they made you believe that they are your soulmate. Which is this week. You're going to be realizing that actually it is not. Now, you will be traveling around north or northern part of the city or, you know, nor somewhere north of you. And you just want to spend some time alone. You just want to, you know, to relax and uh, let your mind breathe a little bit. But while you're trying to figure out your your way, your life, and everything else, this person will become busy in forming another, you know, another plan or another <clears throat> thing that will hurt you most. Because, um, oh, you know, they caught them cheating, or you, know, you will be catching them red-handedly, you know, doing some stuff. And it's like, instead of them resenting, or instead of them feeling sorry and down, like, oh my god, you know, I got caught, I'm so stupid, and stuff like that, they're gonna be proud, like, okay, now that you know, it's a good thing that I don't have to hide it, you know? So, by the time that you come back, all you're, all you're gonna do is just try and, you know, wrap things up, and wrap your mind up, and you will also be talking about the house, you'll also be talking about who's gonna get what, and what you know who will do whatever you know the responsibilities the division of the uh, payments and uh, everything else but i feel like you want to have the kids okay it will also be affecting your job altogether because i feel like this person will keep on trying and will keep on communicating with you and they will also try to sh sugarcoat the situation that instead of them saying i'm sorry i'm gonna change and it's not you know it's not what you think it is i'm not serious and stuff like that they're gonna make it appear that it is your fault and they're also gonna say that you're always busy you don't have time for me what do you expect me to do hang around wait for you till you're available or make an appointment with you or call your secretary or something like that you know and 
it's like like it's not like it's your fault okay that you're too busy with your job especially if you are the you know especially if you are the um what do you call this the uh breadwinner of your family you can't do anything about that and besides your your work your finances are also doing great but instead of you going up and con or continuously going up this person will just keep on blocking your way and will just keep on standing your way okay now there will also be some problems at the work that will arise as your boss will be reprimanding you for some delays mistakes that just keeps on going back over and over again and they want you to focus on your work and i feel like this you know this boss of yours especially if you're working for an air sign they will sit down and talk to you and tell you that look i know that you know i know that you're going through something about your personal stuff but leave your personal problems at home and focus on your job okay focus on the things that you needed to do here in the office instead of wasting your time wallowing and it's like you're working but you're not in yourself you know they're very understanding and open-minded but they don't like it when you keep on making mistakes on the deadlines or whatever it is that they are expecting from you to hand over to finish off okay so you will start to realize that this person has been doing so much damage into your you know into your life and into your um into your career and you feel like it's time for a change it's time for me to finally shape up my destiny and for me to find myself again okay that every time i face the mirror i cannot remember i cannot really recognize who's that person in front of me anymore so you will try and search for yourself you will also be changing your aura don't go for breast augmentation you're just going to regret it and some of you will be going for some um like butt enlargement and like you're going to be going for an injection oh well, you want your butt to become bigger and more noticeable but then later on when you stop that injection thing that you're doing it's you know it's 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 going to be very bad for your health so it's not really advisable and um i feel like some of you will be cutting your hair short or you will be uh changing your hair style and i feel like you will be um using much more colorful or much more noticeable fashionable clothes okay because it's yeah, it's actually necessary in your job especially if you are you know facing clients associates trying to close the deal you need to look you need to look more radiant and beautiful and attractive because you know it's a plus and you know that you can do it but with this personal stuff that's been going on in your life with the with the personal dilemma with the fights arguments and you know with the betraying it was already the betrayal that you will be discovering soon this is something else that you will be you know that you will be feeling a little bit disturbed plus there is a co-worker of yours who will be offering you or who will be showing their affection or will be showing their admiration to you be very careful with office affairs and be very careful with the person who's born in this in the snake year or the year of the snake and they're the one who will be destroying you all together and will be tearing you apart okay be very careful especially if you're born in the year of the rat and year of the rabbit okay so anyway that's it for you for this week virgo if you want to talk to me live on the phone or love the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you